Might be a nice way to start the video. I'm just going to take a look at the redback spider that I put into this very beautiful and very salubrious. Is that a nice word? Home here. Very carefully take the lid off here. Let's see what she's up to. The beep has been removed from this video. And as always, this video is highly educational. Beep, beep, beep. There she is there. She's only a small redback spider, but I'll tell you what. In the week that she's been in here, she's grown a bit. That's amazing. Looks like she's got a favourite fare there. That is black beetles. Yummy. Yes, when they're young, they do grow quite fast. And while she's in here, I can keep a very, very close and careful eye on her. And because I know she's living there, I get to decide when she leaves. But it's what's going on here which will form the centrepiece of this video. The redback spider that lived here laid up an egg sac exactly four weeks ago. And I'm a little bit late because I noticed that the egg sac has actually opened up and there's redback spiderlings up in there now. Sort of cute to look at, but these little spiders are wired right from day one to be killers. At the moment it's the morning, what these guys do is they wait for a bit of a windy day and then they'll put out some web and they'll fly to a new zone. We don't want that to happen. I'm going to set these guys a bit of a challenge out the back. I'm just going to try and grab that egg sac because I want to just put that aside for a moment. Unfortunately, I think it's totally empty. I didn't really want it to be like that. If the spiderlings just decided to drop to the ground from where they hatched, it would virtually be a suicide mission because if you look around here carefully, there's ant activity, in particular pony ants. Yes, yeah, so I've got a little theory that it's the ants that clean up most of these spiderlings. Let's put that to the test. I notice a couple of spiderlings here. You're coming with me as well. Okay, don't you try and run away from me. Come with me. Okay. Oh, I'm going to prove ants are our best friends in the garden. I know there's an ant colony underneath this paver here. Oh, yeah. Bring it on. Bring it on. My first gift is going to be the redback spider egg sack. I'm pretty sure that's empty, but that'll give the ants a bit of a feel for what's coming. And the second course is going to be these beautiful redback spiderlings. Let me just get these guys together on the tongs here. And I'll introduce them down to where those ants are. Oh yeah, come with me little buddies, please. Well, that upset the apple cart. What I'll have to do is basically just tip this out into the ant nest and see what happens. Something like that. Yeah. Okay, so let's just watch very carefully what goes on here. Whether the ants get aroused, whether the redback spiders get devoured. Well, I can see the ants are doing lots of chit chat there. Now uh, the spiders are also doing a lot of chit chat. In fact, a few spiders have set up their webs and they've got away. But I'm really watching what the ants are doing here. Or are they too interested in protecting their own nest? There's red backs there. See, they're setting up the little fine webs between things. In fact, a lot of them drifted this way. They went in the breeze. And just looking there, I'm not seeing the reaction from ants that I really want to see. I was hoping for a whole nest upheaval and ants to come flying out of everywhere. I can see stacks of red backs up on that brick there. They've gone upwards and they're putting their webs out. Man, I tell you what, they are really on the move. Um, they're setting up webs everywhere here. I mean, I put that there, there was a stack of red backs on that. And I'm not seeing the ants crawling all over that, thinking there's the grandest meal on earth. Although, I'm starting to see ants on it now, but I'm not seeing what I expected to see. There's a few red backs hanging behind. I can see the ants are acting differently now. Hmm. Um, there's a bit of a breeze here which I don't like because the redbacks will use that to their advantage in the way they move around. I can still see little redbacks there. They're very, very small, the redback spiderlings. They're going up on that brick there. From that spot there, they've drifted out across this way. Okay, and if I put my hand down here, they're just at my fingers there. They're all on bits of fine web. That's the way they operate. I also see there's a whole stream of ants going through here as well. Like I'm laying on a mat here, there's one right here. Okay. See that? Good night, sister. In fact, there's another one there. <clears throat> Man, they're getting away everywhere. And that's back at the nest there. 
And yeah, I can see, look, the ants, are, they took a bit slow at reacting of what was going on there. They're now crawling all through that piece I introduced. Um, but most of the redbacks, man, they just took off as fast as they could. Well, there's also that bit of web there. I'm not sure what's in that, but I'll put it there. There's a few other redbacks still caught up in this. I'll try and get them out. I'm not sure how well it's going to work. There's another one coming for me. You're not a sister. I'll just focus on that for a bit. Um, the ants are going through the bits and bobs that I put down there. But I'm not seeing, well I can't see ants getting hold of redbacks at all. Um, the redbacks really took flight. As soon as they felt like they were well, being harassed out of their little home. I was really hoping for a very different effect here because what I noticed when I looked at the rubbish piles back in December of last year, I came across that Thomas toy and it had all the black ants up amongst where the redback nest was and also I noticed the redback egg sac there was opened up, little tiny hole appears on the side. And I thought, wow, the ants must be quite keen on these redback spiders once they come out of the egg sacs, but uh, I didn't get that effect here. All I got was a scattering and blowing away of all the redback spiders in the backyard. Yeah, the redbacks are still up there. They've got their webs up on the brick. They're hard to see because they're sort of the same colour as the brick, but believe me, they are there. And I don't think I saw one ant carrying a redback. Like they went, they got to this eventually, but they're a little bit slow at reacting. Well, that was my feeling there. Maybe I need to get an egg sac, which has still got the redback spiderlings in there and then land it here, like right here in the, the nest and see what happens. Like they're even ignoring the egg sac that I put in there. That's just still sitting there. Well, they're looking very interested now at that, but it's, it's all a bit late. Um, the food has flown away. Well, that's where the spiders were put. They went up onto the brick there. They've gone all out this way. Although there's stacks and stacks of ants through here, like if they're on the ground, they're going to be history. But I think I'm going to have to come in and hit this zone with a bit of protocol zero. I'll just put this back down here because, well, ants are our friends. Just taking note of the red back spiders there, hey? You know, well, there's ants scooting around. It's too late, guys. And if I come along here very, very slowly, this is the area that they've gone to. They've gone in this direction. They're going across here. Okay, you can see them on the end of my finger there. Okay, they're sort of still in groups, but there's also lots of ants on the ground. We're going to lose a few ants in this, but I've got to get rid of these spiders. Come with me, I don't want any trouble. I'll set up there and work my way down. Good night, little sisters. That's going to sort them out real fast. Just making sure I get everything around here. Because they are on the move a little bit too quick for me. Let's not forget that vessel. Dusted. Well, I can't see any little spiderlings moving there now. In fact, there's nothing moving there. I just hope none got away. Well, I can't see any little spiderlings in there anymore. And best of all, our beautiful ant colony, mind you, that brick's a bit warm, is still there, right as rain. The heroes of the garden are safe. As for those redback spiderlings, well, I believe they're toast. Well, back out the front before I reset everything, I noticed a couple of stragglers here, so I'll just give them a little bit of a flame. That will tidy them up. Okay, there won't be any stragglers any longer. If any on the ground there, that will fix them up real fast. Okay, I think all the little spideys are free from this zone. That was very interesting, exactly four weeks for the Redback Spider Exact to hatch. I know the day that it was laid up and that was the 1st of January 2020. And now I know that the Exacts can open up without the female Redback Spider being there. Very interesting indeed. Okay, this is now the afternoon of the day those spidlings hatched. And if you take a look up in the trees, there's that lovely breeze that those spidlings would have been waiting for to find a new home. Yes, it would have been a perfect afternoon for those little redback spiders, but something got in their way. So I know that area is clear, but it's what I found a little bit down here that started to disturb me. And we're going to take a bit of a look at what's going on right there. 
I've come armed with some WD-40 and I've got my monkey tool here because we need to be educational. Uh, I believe this is Redback Spiderweb. It's traversing this area here. There's a few things dangling in it and it's also going right up inside there uh, over to the back and I think we're going to have to deal with whatever's living here. I'd normally hit it with a flamethrower but I'd burn up all these bags of mummy stuff for the garden and the problem here is we've got one of these pots that's got these lips here and of course the big problem is if you come along with your hand and put it under there uh, you may, may get a nasty surprise so what I'm going to do is just move this out a bit and put this pot on some paper the more I look here that web network is quite extensive it goes over to another pot there but I'll just keep spinning this out in fact what I'll do is I'll just tip this pot over I just want to show you something here maybe we'll see the spider nest maybe not I'll tell you one thing I can see I can see a very juvenile redback spider it's just there near where my monkey tool is okay I'm just giving it a raz up there and it's chasing up to that area there I'm just looking underneath the lip of that pot there I can see all of the classic sort of web structure redbacks have and if I chase along here maybe I'll get lucky maybe not I'm looking for a black spot on a black pot of a red back and there she is um, hiding there as best as she can and to give you a reality check of how hard it is to see these spiders here I am with the camera as if it would be your eye and you're looking up into a dark area now can you see where that spider is there now no that's the problem is that um, they're really hard to see when they're under the lips of these pots I'm going to do something a little bit novel here I'm going to put that pot onto this piece of paper and it's going to really throw the exposure because I'm going from white things to black things and I'll just write this uh, nice and carefully I know where the spider is so I know what to do next okay I've got a can of WD-40 here it is magic against redback spiders okay the trick here is to get the WD-40 sprayed under the lip there and hopefully the spider will drop okay, this is where I spray WD-40 in my face okay going there and working our way around in fact I saw a little one drop okay that should do it well there's that spidling I showed earlier on it's on the deck I'm just waiting for mother dearest to appear looks like that spidling's had a very bad day at the office it's not moving at all and the female redback spider has appeared it's going the wrong way it's meant to drop come on I don't want you going up there oh we're going to climb up here now it won't take that long I hope okay in no time at all it's actually pretty punchy stuff I'll just use the monkey tool to get her out away from the pot so we can see her clearly it's going to be a bit of a challenge for me okay nice double whammy there a little spidling I dare say it's a female spidling or might be wrong could be male and the female redback spider not quite fully mature but I'm glad I got her before I could see egg sacs up there Yes, I know it's a bit sad, but at least this pot here is free of one of Australia's dangerous, deadly spiders. As far as I know, it's only a fresh nest because we walk past this part every day. And I'm just going to put some WD-40 up there in case there's another spider lurking around. Just making sure it gets right up under that lip. Well, I didn't see anything drop there. Normally these spiders, you'll just see one area and there'll be one nest and um, rarely you see them together. It's a never-ending battle dealing with these redback spiders. It is the spider season. I do know the sorts of webs and places they like to hide out. And I've got an arsenal of tools that I can use against them. But most of all, I just hope in this video we've learned something or else I get into a stack of trouble as usual.